Hey guys, uh, this video is from the live stream on Twitch that I did, so um, if you're wondering why I'm acting a little strange and that I am like looking back and forth saying stuff about Twitch, it's because when I, it was when I was live on Twitch, so you guys don't have any confusion on what's going on. Um, this is the edited version that I've made, of course. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. see it here too I'm gonna see I'm gonna find this person I'm gonna see why I might like I might search him up later and see why he did that I don't know alrighty oh shit this takes a while to load the end is never the end is never the end also duly noted my laptop's a piece of shit so games may not work well exactly but eh. You work with what you get. We are practically at an hour in the stream so far. We did get a follow, but you left right after I said his name. <laughs> oh wait, I can say it again. It's Commander Root. It, Commander Root, if you're seeing this later, and it was mostly because I said your name wrong, I'm sorry. I'm not the best reader around here, but, yeah. Okay. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley, was happy. Ah, happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Uh -huh. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him, to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, so this is how I control, right. Alrighty, so this is the Stanley Parable, mostly a choice-driven game. Of course, which is pretty funny. Ah, uh, there we go. Stanley Here's an ending. simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. Have this I? couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Yeah, Nothing just wait. will hurt me. Nothing will break me. Let's just wait. And here I can be happy forever. Yeah. I will be happy. I'll be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then mm. days. Had years gone by? He no I'm longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Exactly. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this Ooh. will end. He very will soon. be spoken to. He yes. will be told what to do. Yes. Now it's just a little bit closer. What's closer? Now it's even closer. Oh? Here it come. Oh. No! Well, that's an ending. <laughs> Bruh. Strange ending, actually. I just remembered that as I was looking around the room. But, uh, yeah, that's an ending. There are, like, multiple endings you can get in this game, which is pretty interesting. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. 
That's normally what he doesn't say all the time. He does say random things. But yeah, there's like an achievement if you click the door like five times. But uh, yeah, I've already done the achievement. So that kind of sucks. And you have to like go around and do some stuff. No matter yeah. how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Can I get on the desk? Damn it. I can't jump either. There's a problem. I can't... Let me through. Let me through. Damn it. There's an ending over this way. Ah, eh, screw it. We'll just move on. Ooh. Alrighty. Let's... Mm, okay. When Stanley okay. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Left door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Sure, yeah, I wonder uh, what you said. Ah, yes, <sighs> truly a room worth admiring. Oh, it had yeah. really been worth the detour after oh, my just machine. to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Also, if you listen closely, you can hear him hitting buttons. I don't know if you can yes. really tell. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating <sighs> that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously oh, vanished, no. Here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Also, I have no feet. Uh, should I be concerned about that? But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna go this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Yeah, I'm so incredible. Holy crap. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Are you I sure? I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. I'm I'm I got the whole building! <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you That's really right. convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes, well, I don't trust you. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show oh, really? you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me I, a chance. I, no, I, I don't trust you. Now Ooh. listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I'm colorblind. I think this is red, right? This has to be red. Uh -huh. Oh, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. The red door. The pen is blue. The pen is blue. Oh, the pen is blue. I still don't think oh. we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Wait, I changed my mind. Out there, you want to find out what lies at the end of this Damn road it. you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Okay, I won't let you stop me. I'll, I'll just keep on going forward. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Oh, going through here. I can't go through the door. See, there we go. There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yes. Is it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yes. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Yep. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What uh, you make you unhappy. See? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. Oh. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. No. Nope. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. And yet it leads you in the same place. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. 
I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! Yes. You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I... I felt <laughs> it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, yeah, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Out of the park. Oh. Damn it. The Stanley Repairable Worldwide Leaderboard. How do you do it in two seconds? Good Neil. Where am I? I'm last <laughs> in the first <laughs> Oh, screw you. I'm actually going in the orange door now. Screw you. God damn it. Go through the door. Screw you. Now, mm. would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. No, you made me last. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Yes, I, I would rather not. Oh. Well, it looks like we're going in anyways. whoop de doo de doo Alrighty. Oh. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you get four a hours? To play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Fine. Ooh, butterfly. Butterfly. Uh, oh shit, no! You heartless bastard. Oh. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's no, I think it's to hate you. To do, I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. Sorry, baby. I'm not Ooh. even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. It's oh, yeah. Fun. I'd like to play any other game but this one. <laughs> This seems like it'll work. Let's oh, give it a shot. Mm, 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 this one, yeah, yep, that one will work. Okay. What are we playing now? Do, 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 do. Yes, Minecraft! Well, Stanley, is this any better? Yes! Last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. Yes! But is it enough? Don't yes! Understand. Will it ever be enough? Oh, it's definitely this. good. I'm done making things for you. I can't From jump. Now on, I'm I trapped. I'm only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a dirt house. <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And then... Whoa. I can build way faster than you, dude. See, what does it need? I, uh, yes, uh, of course. Yeah, do that. And it all, door, like. door. Yes. Yes. It's complete. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in your house. Let me in your house. Upon my work of art and feel it's ashamed beautiful. at your own inadequacy. Oh, Let me in. But you've only seen it from the outside. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Step inside and make yourself Ooh. comfortable. Isn't it grand? Ah. Isn't it perfect? It could yep. only be better if... It's great. Right. That's it. We what? must rebuild it out of diamond. Ah. Diamond? Yes. yes! Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Let's go. Oh, my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Going all the way down. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do oh, at shit. all. One out of five. 
Even the spider? Germans couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Ah, uh, spider. Zombies. I think you just saved me, dude. I was about to get eaten by zombies and spiders. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hey, we're playing Portal. Yes. I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You I can fix things up. glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, oh shit. Inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Okay, I'm gonna bring my radio with me. That's cool. Yeah, I bring my radio with me. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. There we go. Companion cube. Genius. Bring my radio. Let's go. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. Go I free, have radio! Wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me... Guys, I beat the game! I WIN! Why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game... Okay, bye. Ooh. Somewhere else now. Away from that idiot now. Oh, and we're falling more into death. Oh. Go that way. Let's see where we are. Ooh. Broken map. And we're in the Choice Store area. This is more like the uh, demo, sort of, of the uh, Stanley Parable, which is actually pretty cool. I never actually played it myself, but this is supposed to be like the demo or something. Yeah, and here's my here's my desk. Number four two seven. Ah, my lovely buttons. Ah, Mr. Narrator, I'm lonely. Can you come back? Oh. Hmm. I wonder what he found. I found my old if office. What he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story. Well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. Yep. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. No, I, I learned it and it's what pretty I was good. trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Okay, narration to yourself. That that's healthy, I guess. And that's the ending where you completely ignore him. Pretty interesting actually. Oh. Going right to the choice doors. Look at this. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I'll actually listen to you this time. La da 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 da, could I actually pick the right choices? Ooh, dee -doo, dee -doo. Yet there was not a single person here either. Where are my co workers? In a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to Just go to his fire. boss's Talk office, less. hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, I'll go to the boss's office then. Ooh, I got pushed. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No, I'm gonna stay here. It's nice and cozy in here. I like this. Nice broom closet. I like it a lot. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Yeah, I know. But I still like it. It's nice and cozy. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. Cause I like it. He wasn't it. even doing anything. 
At least yeah. if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> F.A. means fuck all. <laughs> are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. Standing around doing nothing? Yes. Why? Please offer like me some it. explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Because I like the broom closet, okay? Okay, can I not like the broom closet? And just sit in here? You realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? Yeah. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. Yeah, but it's, it's my own. To me because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. It's my own story. I'm making my own story. Stanley and the broom closet. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Yes, exactly. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. No, I, I would actually say that. The broom closet ending is my favorite, guys. Did you not, did you not know that? Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or the drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Fuck you, no. Just no. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Yeah. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Uh, apparently I'm defected. Uh, here, you, you need to play. No, no, come here. You need to play. You need to play, okay? Okay? Yeah, now go out there. Uh, okay, I'm John to two. Um, apparently, uh, the first John that was defective, so, um, I'm here to replace him. So, uh, yeah, we're... What are we doing in a broom closet? Oh, that's weird. Ah, Anyways. second player. It's good to have you on board. I yeah, guarantee good to be you here. can't do any worse than the person who came before you. What is this? Oh, broom closet! Oh boy! You too. <laughs> yeah, broom closet. Entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a <laughs> monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish, fungus. Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. There you go. That's a broom closet ending. I I like it. It's pretty fun. <laughs> All right, now we'll follow the story again. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I'll walk upstairs. Oh, no. Go upstairs. No, go upstairs. Thank you. Ugh. Open sesame. Okay. Anyways. Uh. In we go. Stepping into oh. his manager's office, Boss? Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Oh, I got Stanley it. was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <laughs> he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety <laughs> isn't it. So he relaxed <laughs> for a few moments with some calming New Age music. I, I can't believe I actually remember the code for that. <laughs> it's actually been a while since I actually played this game or even seen footage of this game. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, yeah. Stanley calmly walked yeah, no. forward <laughs> into the ancient <laughs> passageway. Let's go! Let's go! 
Let's go, 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 let's go. I'm speed. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, I'll stop. Alrighty. We are an hour and almost three minutes into the stream so far. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. He feel this now, but for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Interesting. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I could just escape right here. Oh, all right, we'll do as you say. Ooh. Ooh, it's dark. Should I press this? You're not telling me to do it. I, I could just sit here, you know? Okay. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh, what fuck yeah. Secret did this Xbox all play? around. Stanley thought to himself, did he have the strength to find out? Yes, we're, we're going to play Xbox, Nintendo Switch, all the game consoles on every TV. Every single game on these TVs. Let's go. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the fuck. building. Stanley's co-workers. Oh. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Oh no, I see mine. Right there in the center of the screen. That's my office. freedom meant nothing. You can kinda of see like the office right there. If they'll ever change back. Oh yeah, I think it is. I can hear it. Or not. See his turn? Here it is. Yeah, four two seven right there. If you if you guys saw it, then I don't know. And I'll wait for it to change back again. There, see? Four two seven, that's where it was. <laughs> I was able to find my own office. Alright, let's go. Elevator. This mind control vicinity, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yeah, I hate my job now. Brr, I hate it. Brr. No! Ah, I hate it! Ah, no! I'm confused! No! Life in someone else's control? No! It was unthinkable. No! Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he no. truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I can't believe this. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Oh. Controls oh. labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over right. another human life. For yes. he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Yes. Yes. System power. We must, we must turn off this and free billions of people. Did I do it? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? <laughs> He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been they freed go? from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. 
Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that yes. was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. I mean, let's go. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Ah, I'm happy. There you go, that's the, well, the narrator's story. I just put it into the chat before uh, the door opened. Did I do it? <laughs> well, yes. Yes, past me. I did it. <laughs> or future me or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty. Should we go for another ending? I don't know. I at least got the brew closet ending, which is probably the one thing I really wanted to do. There are like many other endings I could do as well. Here's what he normally says. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. This is now what he normally says. He one day see weather. Weird. Normally he doesn't say that, he says another thing. Can I go through this window? I want to go through this window. I mean, there's still plenty to do. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What then should I go for? Uh... Two hours later. You know what? Let's go this way and then down the stairs. Down, like, down the stairs after you pass the broom closet, because I want to see if he boarded it all off or if he has anything to say about that. Yet there was not a single person. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, already said, we already heard this. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, broom closet. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> not again. I won't be part of this. I'm yes! not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say closet. anything at all. I'm just yes. going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please, <laughs> take your time. Yoink. And in. And out. Okay, we'll come back here again right after. Coming to a staircase, Stanley nope. walked upstairs nope. to his boss's nope. office. No, nope. no, going downstairs. No, nope. not listening to you. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence this in a single moment familiar. for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Yeah, the man. doors closed oh, automatically behind him wherever he went. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they yeah, didn't I see that car like five times? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Ah! This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently Whoa, fly to the ground. Then he imagined himself oh. soaring through space on a magical oh, well, star you. field 
and it too. Whee! It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How uh, was he uh, remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. Yeah. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating yeah. everything that I'm doing and thinking? Yeah, what am I doing? Well, the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming hmm. about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. Huh. How could it be? What? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was, in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This yeah. voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. Would he prove would it. prove that he was in control. Yes. That this was a dream. Yes. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Oh, I he literally stopped moving. I didn't even do screen. that myself. I, I was the still holding of the up. mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go <sighs> back to my job. Okay. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Let me push Please. the buttons. It's all I want. Oh, all I, I want, want my apartment mm. and my wife yes. and my job. Yes. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. My normal. I am normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Yes. I am okay. Oh fuck. Stanley began screaming. Please, ah! someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I'm real. Please, just someone tell me I'm real. I must be real. I must be real. Everyone hear my voice. Who am I? Who am I? Ah! Oh. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh. Mariana woke up on a day like any other. Oh. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, oh, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, I'm crazy. she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. So, that's an ending, apparently. We just move on to someone else's story. <laughs> uh, alrighty. I never want to go back uh, the same way again one more time. At least start off following his direction so we can... Uh, all of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. And there's his normal dialogue. We haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> like, literally, three times in a row we haven't heard that normal dialogue. Where? Hmm. There we go. I'm saving power. Alrighty. Wee. Onward. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I'm trying to play in a weird way. 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yep. That's what I did. That's what I exactly did. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of yeah. disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Alright, broom closet, what's up? Oh. No! No! My broom closet! No! Let me in, please! My broom closet, no! Oh. Uh, that's mostly why I wanted to check that. Alright, we gotta go Coming back upstairs. To case, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, okay. So there's another one. Uh, I think there's at least three more down this way. But there's one here where you go in and the. Damn it. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. But wait, I could still... Say what? No, I failed. I still failed. Uh, I mean, I could probably get this ending again, but... I still made it out of the way at the right time, but... You get closer now? No. And really, he just opened the door like that? He didn't even let me enter the keypad. What the hell? Narrator, are you okay? Did you... Were you trying to stop me from doing what I was doing? Oh well. There's still another ending I can do. Can I still exit? I mean, yeah, kind of. Let's just let's do his thing for a little bit. You gotta go through that uh, escape room. I'll try the other ending later or something. This might be the last ending I do for now. Or did my keyboard die? Because <laughs> uh, my pad just went on. One viewer, myself. Oh, there wasn't even any dialogue. Um. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Now, nope. although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I think not. I'm just gonna keep moving forward. La da 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 da. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. But I'm not gonna. Because I'm a bear. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yep, that's what I did. Ah! No. Rip Stanley. Oh. As the machine whirred into motion and standing oh, wait, isn't there a way to... closer and closer to his device, he reflected oh. that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. Where's the crash button? I can screen. crash, I know I can. Forever in his narrow vision of what this is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he designed no. a no. accepted no. violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Oh, there we go. No! No! Please! Don't kill me! Ah! Oh. Farewell, oh. Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Whee! And somehow I'm alive. Apparently now I know how to crouch. The and Stanley. Yet it would purple. be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. 
What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I don't know. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Wait. Okay. I thought, I thought you say this stuff later, but uh, yeah, this is kind of like the backstory of uh, all the different uh, stuff for um, the Stanley Parable. All stuff that was used for like creating this game. I have put some more. But yeah, you can also see like it's the map all the way to like until you get to the two doors. And then I think in these other areas they can kind of show like different endings. Like this could be like the boss's office. That's like the main one. Uh, and then of course sometimes you can switch over to those. It's actually pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know if there's anything in here. Definitely might get some spoilers, but uh, yeah. Oh, my control facility. We already know that. Oh, I don't know. How about they're throwing a surprise party for him for all his button pushing? Does that sound plausible to you? Oh, I did not know about this room. Oh wait, no, I think that was like for the demo too, like the uh, narration for the demos, a bit of it, at least. I didn't, I never saw that room before. Oh, huh, well that's interesting. Uh, okay, onward this way, I guess. So yeah, that's the uh, good ending, I guess, the freedom ending. It's one of them. Uh, what about this? This is the countdown room. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, so no, elevator. I'm not going to get into too much, but you can kind of look around here and uh, get at least some certain ideas. I recommend you do this ending last so you don't get too much spoilers if you haven't <laughs> figured it out. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? Maybe. No, perhaps not. Narrator Sometimes for the narrator. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. Oh god damn it, back here. These two. You can oh. stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let it <gasps> Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, it would just end in blackness, and then you'll have to, like, reset the game anyway, so... It's literally telling you, oh, you need to reset the game. There you go. That's another ending. I think that might be it for the Stanley Parable, though. Being pretty good with that for now. Um, hmm. Oh fuck! Papers. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his oh, co-workers. Oh, what the fuck? I'm stuck like this. Oh no! Oh, I did it! Okay. Nice. Okay, we can get this ended now, I guess. Okay. No! I had it! There we go. Ooh. Guess we're doing another ending. Whee! At Ooh. first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure 
and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Ah, uh, yes. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain it. There once was a man named Stanley. Wait, hang on. Who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable. And lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. You too will become quite unbearable. Get to it. Oh, we're not done yet. Okay, you keep playing for a sec, dude. My Twitch kind of crashed for a second. Oh, I got a notification. Here, said I got like, a notification there for a second. Chat room. Oh, let's see my chat's familiar. You're just gonna keep playing guitar the entire time. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'll put this back and then I'll restart. Okay. Okay, okay, shut up. <laughs> uh, but what happened to my chat? It just says, welcome to the chat room now. Okay, I'm gonna go there again because there is still the no option. I know I said I was gonna be done. Because we're gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Bye, bitches. There we go. At first, Stanley <laughs> assumed he'd break yeah, 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 yeah. Until he heard this narration and realized Ooh. it was part of the game's design all the time. It's part of the game. He then plays <gasps> the game for its insightful and witty commentary into mm. the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun hmm. and unique place to be? Sure. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Yay. Okay, I'm over it now. Me what too. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Yeah, kind of. Uh, actually, no, 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 I'm not. No, wait. Ah, no. Then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Uh, do you think music it would start playing. particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long hmm. would you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, huh. and this is rich. Perhaps you just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, yeah, I did. What do you think? <laughs> Which choice was the better one? 
Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Okay, well, end on a second. It just said, okay, now that it says zero viewers. Okay, I don't know. For some reason it just said zero viewers, which I thought, okay, um, oh. Damn it. Well, okay. Well, I'm going to quit the game now because uh, I think that's a good enough place to end the Stanley Parable for now. So there. Click.